Hello everyone. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. So after India had won the first one day international against New Zealand, both the teams had traveled to Raipur to play the second one day international at the Shahid Veer Narayan Singh International Stadium. So Indian skipper Rohit Sharma won the toss and he decided to have a bowl first. And so the New Zealand openers came out in the middle and Indian bowlers Mohammad Shami, Mohammad Siraj, Hardik Pandya and Shardul Thakur. They really bowled well up front and they did not let the New Zealand openers get off to a flyer. And yes, the pressure kept on building from the first ball itself and New Zealand lost wickets in a cluster as India reduced New Zealand to 15 for 5 by the 11th over and New Zealand were really looking down the barrel. Glenn Phillips was the top scorer for New Zealand scoring 36 runs and there were some couple of contributions from Mitch Santner and Bracewell and eventually New Zealand folded for just 108 runs in 34.3 overs. I mean, it was a bizarre batting display by the New Zealand team. And so for the pick of the bowlers, Mohammad Shami, he bowled fantastic picking up three wickets, including one maiden, and then Hardik Pandya and Washington Sundar, both picking up two wickets apiece, and Kuldeep Yadav, Mohammad Siraj, and Shardul Thakur all picked up one wicket apiece. So chasing a paltry target of just 109 runs, the Indian openers Rohit Sharma and Shubman Gill started cautiously and the openers put on 52 runs in the first power play and that was the solid foundation they needed at the start of the run chase. And by the time Rohit Sharma went out, he scored a brilliant 50 odd runs and the partnership worth 72 runs for the first wicket almost finished the job for the Indian run chase. Virat Kohli could not contribute much and he went out cheaply but then Shubman Gill and Ishan Kishan ensured that there were no more hiccups before India crosses the finish line. And so by 20.1 overs, India overhauled the target with 8 wickets in hand. Let's take a look at the scorecard. And so Mohammad Shami was awarded the man of the match for his wonderful bowling performance of 6 overs, 1 maiden, 18 runs and 3 wickets. I mean that was a phenomenal bowling performance by Mohammad Shami and that eventually did not allow the New Zealand batsmen to get off to a flyer. And so with this, India takes an unassailable lead of 2-0 in this three-match ODI series and both the teams will be now travelling to Indore for the third and the final one-day international. So we'll have to find out whether New Zealand comes back strongly and gets a consolation victory in the third ODI or will it be India who will be going for a series whitewash against New Zealand 3-0. Stay tuned to my channel guys. And do not forget to subscribe if you are into this for the first time. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching.